In this demo, I'm going to show you quotas and file screens. So the scenario that we want to work through, I have created a folder named user dash data. And the requirements for this folder will be to limit the data to 10 gigs that can be saved in that folder. And I also want to block music and video files from being saved into that folder. In our file server resource manager, we can do both of those things. On RTS DC1, I have my file server resource manager still open from the previous demonstration. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the C drive. And on the root of the C drive, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name it user dash data. That's the folder we're going to use for our example. So back in my file server resource manager, if I go to quota management, if I select quotas, right now no quotas exist. There are some quota templates that exist. So Microsoft has these predefined templates that you can actually use if they fit your needs or you could actually edit one of these templates. But what I'm gonna do is just create a new custom quota. So I'm gonna right click on quota, create quota, now it wants the path. You could type the path in, but I'm just gonna browse. So on my C drive, user data, I'll select that. So that's the path, and I want to create a quota on path. Now here, how do you wanna configure quota properties? This defaults to use a template. So this is the list of templates we just saw when I clicked over here. Now I don't wanna use a template. Instead, what I want to do is define custom properties. So I'm gonna click custom and I'm gonna choose 10 gigs. So I'll generate 10. Now you can have this from kilobyte all the way up to terabyte, but we said 10 gigs. Now the configuration for this allows me to choose a hard quota, which means you cannot exceed it. It is impossible more than 10 gigs of data will be saved to this folder. Nothing you could do. If we create a soft quota, you can exceed it, but we can use it for monitoring. Now, to look at the soft quota, it has this notifications threshold. Now, both hard and soft both have notification thresholds, so it's not unique to soft quotas. But if I add, I can say when you are at a certain percentage of that quota, now it always defaults to 85%. Whatever we believe is appropriate, when in doubt, just leave it on 85, but you can make it 95, you can make it 75, whatever you prefer. But when you reach 85% right now of what that quota limit is, I can have an email message sent to the accounts I enter here. So I could add in some email addresses for administrators. I can also have an email message sent to the user that is actually surpassing that 85% so they know that they're nearing the limit of what can be saved into that. You can even scribe your own subject and the body of the message that'll be sent, or um, you could use the default. But otherwise, you just type in exactly what you want the subject and message to actually say. So that's one option, just to send an email. You can also have this right to your event log. You could even scribe what the log entry would be so I could actually type in what I want that to say. Actually, I'm going to leave that checked. You could run a command or script. Now, if you had a PowerShell script or Visual Basic or something like that, this would do nothing but let you browse for a script and that script would simply execute. So this itself is nothing but a trigger just to execute commands or scripts. And I can also have a report generated. So here, generate reports. If we go to the bottom, the very last option is quota usage. So I can have a report generated and I can have that report sent to administrators. I can have it sent to the user. It also gets saved to the C drive of this machine, storage reports. Now the reports themselves, this report I'm looking at on this screen would be auto-generated when we are at 85% uh, of that quota limit. You can configure the same exact settings here under storage reports management, but you define a schedule. So I can say the first of every month, I want a report sent to me that details quota usage. That would be an option. 
But here, we don't need to send reports, commands. I'm going to leave event log checked, and I'm not interested in sending an email. So I'm going to click OK on those notification thresholds. So here, you can see which ones are selected. So our warning is at 85%, and it will generate an event in my event log. Well, that's it. I'm going to click OK. That quota will now be created. And again, you can review the settings. I'm just going to click Create. Now, this is what's interesting. It automatically asks me if I want to apply a template. Well, I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to name this template RTS User Data. If you did not want a template, you would have selected save the custom quota without creating a template. But as you can see, when I created the quota, it defaulted to the list of templates. Then even if you use a custom quota, it defaults to get you to save this as a template. So they really want you to use a template. But I'm going to click OK for that. This is my quota. It applies to the user data folder on the C drive. 0% use, 10 gig limit, soft quota. And it is using a template, RTS user data, because I saved it as a template. And it says match template. Now, let's say I want to create another quota. So I'm going to create quota. Now, the quota path, I'm going to click browse. I'm going to choose the C drive again. And I'm just going to click make new folder. So I'll do it this way. And I'm going to name this HR dash users. I'm going to derive properties from this quota template and I'm going to choose RTS user data. Now that already has defined limit 10 gig soft, the notification uh, threshold, 85% event log. So I'm going to create. Now you'll see both quota show up here, the user data, the HR users. I'm going to do that one more time. And I'll be a little quicker this time. C drive, new folder, and I'm going to call this finance users. I'm going to choose that same template, RTS user data, and create. So now I have three folders all created from this RTS user data. What's interesting is how the interface looks. Notice here, it says source template RTS user data. So I know all three of these were created from that template. Now, bear with me, but we're gonna do this one more time. This time, I'm not gonna use a template. So I'm gonna make another new folder and I'm gonna call this marketing users. We will define custom properties and I'm just going to say 25 gigs. Uh, hard quota. That's that's fine. I'm going to say, I'm going to click create. And this time I'm going to say, save the custom quota without creating a template. Okay for that. So when you look at this interface, what you can tell, the marketing users has no source template. So I know this was a custom quota created by hand, not associated with a template. I know these three, user data, HR, and finance users, were all created based on this RTS user data template. Well, what's fascinating, if I need finance users to have more space, so right now they all have 10 gigs, what I can do is edit the quota properties, and I'm going to change this from 10 to 20 and OK. Now you'll see under source template RTS user data, all three still show up. But I can see that this now has a 20 gig quota, the finance users. But if you go over to the source template, that's still the same. But match template says no. So what I know just from looking at this screen, finance users was created from that template. After it was created, somebody went and modified the quota and it no longer matches the settings in the template. So, you know, somebody changed something. 
I know the user data and HR users folder were created from the template and they have never been modified since they've been created because they still say yes. And we know marketing users was not created from a template. So that's pretty interesting. Where it gets better. Let's say the template we used here is all for user data. Somebody comes and says, we've expanded our storage. So now I want my user data, HR users, finance users, I want them to have 50 gigs instead of the, the 10 or 20. Well, an option, I could edit each one of these individually, but I don't want to do that. So instead, I can go to the template. If I right-click the template, edit template properties, I can change this limit. So I'm just going to enter 50. So 50 gigs, and you could modify any other settings you wanted. You can make it a hard quota. You could change notifications, but I'm not going to change any of those. I'm just going to click OK. Now it says, what would you like to do? And it gives me three choices. The first, apply template only to derive quotas that match the original template. We know what that means. It has to say match template yes. So if I were to do that, only two of those would now take this 50 gigs. The one that we changed from 10 to 20 gigs no longer matches the original. It would simply not apply. Apply template to all derived quotas. Does not matter if it matches or not. It's going to automatically apply that template. I could also say do not apply template to derived quotas. Everything stays exactly the same. When I create new quotas, they would use this setting. Well, what I'm going to do is choose the first. Apply template only to derived quotas that match the original template. And I'm going to choose OK. Now I'm going to go back to my quotas. This is what we knew would happen. Now, it did rearrange the order here, but you'll see user data and HR users are both 50 gigs match template yes. The finance users, 20 gigs match template no was simply not increased. Now, just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to go back to the template again, and I'm going to edit the properties. And let's, I'm going to pull it up a bit, but I'm going to say 50 gigs. Apply template to all derived quotas. I'm going to OK that. Now, if we go back, notice that all three say match template yes, and it pulled all up to 50 gigs. So the moral of that story, this template, the importance of it is often overlooked. You would create a template for a purpose. If I'm going to have user data for all of my users, but maybe it's broken down by department, like HR users, finance users, if they need really the same storage capacity, the same settings, then it would behoove you to create a template just for that purpose. It's associated with all of those. Then you could still go modify the individual quote at a folder level. Or if you need to make a wholesale change across all the folders, you can just edit the template one time and have it apply to all of those. So really, these templates have to be created with a purpose-driven uh, mentality and thought process. But pretty fascinating overall. Since marketing users was not created from a template, you will just manage that individually by just going directly to the quota itself.